I just basically just wake the way. Uh, look for marbles. gonna do a little bottle digging for a little while till it gets dark anyways and uh, see what we can find be back as soon as we come across the first interesting thing yeah, really. see a Pepsi here I think it's from the 50s that's it's red white and blue it's broke no. double dot it is red white and blue so it's out of the 40s, 40s yeah. Baltimore Maryland that is not where we're at though so. <laughs> yeah, ship that down not gonna keep that, but we're gonna keep looking. This one right here, what we got here? Melted junk. A lot of junk. Gotta see anything. Put a 20 of it. <laughs> Mason jars. Listerines. What you got there? Magnesia. Yep, milk of magnesia. That's pretty neat. I might keep that one if you don't want it. Yeah. See if you get a better one. They're pretty good. common, but you know, it's in yeah, you silver doll. So we're gonna keep digging away and uh first cool thing I see after this I'll let you guys know. Be back in a minute. So this place is just like littered in bottles. There's just bottles everywhere. We're just walking along looking and Kristen just got a nice bottle. What's it say? It says uh True Me. True Me Beverages. Should have a, yep, 1924. So we're gonna hold on to that. But the reason I stopped is because there's milk bottles just laying all over the ground. They're not in great shape, but they're definitely milk, so we're definitely gonna put these in the bag. Be back soon as we see something else. You guys ever seen anything like this? It says uh, Italy Van Ro M2 M-268. Oh, Suppose that's something homemade. It's definitely neat. Check this out. Whole teacups. Whole porcelain bowls. It's got a maker's mark on it. Jackson certified china. Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. It's awesome, man. Old Oak Terry. Nice coaster. Yeah. Check that thing out. I guess it's a hot water knob or cold water knob. Huh. Pretty cool. What's it say on there? Silver. Silver loan. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. Got a little glass there. Throw that thing <laughs> off. Yeah, make sure. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Anything on the bottom? It kind of resembles Fenton, but no. Well, it's, it's intel. Get a little juice glass. Just got a nice milk here. This is Western Maryland Dairy. Probably throw that one in the bag. Switch it out for one of the uglier ones. Oh, Mr. Toad, going out the way. Keep looking. Find right, something else. Oh yeah. Got the uh, where'd it go? Right here. Got a mustard here. Pretty old mustard. Mustard food jar. Pretty cool. We'll keep that. Nice little perfume or something here. We'll keep at it. That's a cool thing we find. We'll let you guys know. Someone here's got a bottle. What does it say? Welsh Farm Dairy, Long Valley, New Jersey. New Jersey. Have you guys ever seen that? Let us know. Are you calling this a black Annapolis? Yeah, ACL. Black Annapolis Dairy. ACL stands for applied color label, by the way, for y'all those, those of you that don't know. Probably gonna keep that one for sure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Might turn purple. 
I think Tony's got a good bottle here. Or crockery here. See the bottom of it up under there. It's all gonna come down. Oh, what's that? Put your finger and grab it. See what you got. Oh yeah, man. Mercury. Mercury. Oh wow. Okay. Never seen it really good. That's interesting. Yeah, at least it's whole. Mercury crap. It had mercury in it? Like mercury light to put in thermometers? Hope not. That is sweet. Okay. That's definitely a keeper. Yeah, I'll take it. God, there's just bottles every freaking where. <laughs> These guys can see under there. It's kind of dark. There's just bottles stuffed all up under the bank. There's a milk right here. Smelled it, of course. Everywhere. There's just every freaking where in here. Unbelievable. Barbasol. Shave a green. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't really get a chance to do a wrap up in the woods because they were kind of ready to go and it was getting late, it was getting dark. Uh, so I thought I'd kind of do it now in the hotel room uh, on the bathroom vanity. So let's take a look at what we got. And this isn't all of it, some of it is still in the car. Uh, this is what I just wanted to bring in and kind of clean up a little bit to see if any of it was better than the rest. So let's take this. Let's try off the bat. You know, Kirsten got this uh, nice Art Deco soda bottle here from 1924. And then we got this, uh, Tony told me this was a sour cream. Annapolis Dairy sour cream. It's pretty cool. This is a sour cream as well, but it's embossed. It's definitely got a center slug plate on one side and sour cream on the other, and it looks to be whole. So that's a really good find. We'll get that cleaned up and uh, find out exactly what it does say. Salt pepper shaker, I thought it was pretty cool. We're gonna turn that into a shot glass. Got the whole teacup. Well, it's not very old, but it's definitely cool. Because it's so it's paper thin and it still holds. It's got a little crack in it. It's still holding together. Got the uh, Ma's old fashioned root beer, maybe. It's pretty cool. Nice little applied color label from Baltimore, Maryland. Got the black Annapolis Dairy. That's a pretty hard one to find. And got the solid standard milk. Not sure what part of Maryland that's from. And then this interesting piece. That was the one that had that Italy Van Rowe. So I'm sure that's some kind of homemade piece. Uh, I kept a color, couple other pieces of porcelain crockery, but they're in the car. They were kind of too big to put in a backpack. I didn't want people to see me take a bunch of dirty bottles upstairs and be like, look at this guy. So that's what we brought up. Get them cleaned up. If I get an ID off of the other milk, I'll let you guys know. Put a steel picture of it up above. As always, I appreciate you guys. As always, I appreciate you guys for coming along. And if you like our channel, please click the subscribe button below. Good luck. We'll see you on the next one.